So Humanities 109 introduces students to the cultures of India and its neighbors, and so Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, but the cultures are very similar, so um, students learn about it from a variety of angles. So by reading fiction, we watch films, we um, look at a brief history so they can understand the context, and we also learn about history through film and fiction, so all of those things. And they always have an opportunity to try food. Sometimes some of it comes into the classroom, but we also go out for a meal at the end of the semester and we read an article about food and culture and then go out for lunch. You enter into things from different perspectives when you're reading fiction, watching a film, and so it teaches empathy. So if you're going into any kind of field where you work with a variety of people, um, you're going to understand things from different perspectives, be able to get inside another person's point of view, and that I think is really important. So I'm really excited about incorporating technology more on a day-to-day -day basis having students working on projects around a TV as a group, presenting their work to others with the, the marker boards next to it, uh, coming to the middle to collaborate with other groups. One of the features of the room is that all the TVs are hooked up through Apple TV wirelessly so that we can share what's on the teacher station across all seven monitors, across one monitor, however many they want, but also to allow for students to come into this room and share their screens. This reality sandbox allows us to model uh, geologic processes and landforms in three dimensions. So in geology, um, we're, we look at um, topographic maps. Those topographic maps have um, detail about towns and cities and roads, but they also have a second dimension and that is contour lines. Sometimes it's difficult for the students to understand what that means when you're looking at that 2D map, but if we were to project those same lines onto this um, 3D visualization uh, equipment, you can see that um, we have a hill in the middle, we have another hill over here, we have lower elevations, all of which have those contour lines. They've taken CT scans of the human body and they've digitized those. So not only do we have a full-size human, but it also is maneuverable. So we can rotate it. I can come in and with a slider, I can go from the outside down through different levels. So we can take the students from the superficial down through the deep and they can see different orientations and different relationships. So I made a, like about six little R2-D2s. I made a Batmobile and um, an Eiffel Tower. It actually helped me learn about, actually learn about it because you know when you kind of read about something you don't really, you know, you're just kind of like skimming through it, but like when you act to actually do something and see the result of what, you know, the bonds you're breaking and everything that, you know, it makes you more interested in what you're learning about. I mean, it was uh, one, of, one of my best experiences I've ever done in, in a chemistry lab. So I really liked it. And it was, I mean, it was just different from other experience because you're doing things from uh, what you can see, what you've learned in class, then you're doing it, you're bringing it here in class. I fell in love with anthropology because anthropology looks at different societies and different cultures and it was a great way to like start in a professional where I could keep traveling and meeting people from all over the world and teaching about them. Parkland is really cool in the sense that we are part, all our classes are part of the Illinois Articulation Initiative. This basically means that we are certified so that our classes will automatically transfer anywhere in the state. There are jobs with um, the Department of Transportation, cultural anthropologists, a linguistic anthropologists, the Illinois State Archaeological Society. They are working in marketing firms. They are working in business firms. They are working in, IT, in the IT world because they're doing a lot of this work for human resources. A good um, area of specialty now, specialization, is forensics. So there's a lot of jobs out there for students who want to major in anthropology. So in Sci 108, we process a crime scene, which means we record it by taking notes, photos, sketches. Uh, students then pick up and collect the evidence and they learn all the proper pro protocols all along the way. 
We then learn about a lot of different types of evidence, fingerprinting, trace evidence like hairs and fibers, blood typing, DNA, uh, all sorts of evidence. And they use that knowledge to analyze the evidence they collected at the crime scene early in the semester. And then they communicate all their results uh, after they've analyzed everything in the crime scene. And I think Parkland forensic students in particular get some really neat opportunities to use some analytical instruments that are often only available to upper level chemistry students, for example. Uh, and they get experience in a wide variety of forensic evidence. And I think our students leave Parkland really having a good foundation for what forensic science entails. Two of the last labs that they do in this course, the Forensic Science II course, uh, to the best of my knowledge, we are the only college in the nation that does them, whether it's two-year college, four-year college, whatever. Uh, we do an analysis of burned human remains. Now, at most other colleges, that is done with uh, pig carcasses or deer carcasses that have been through a fire. We had, in the past, an arrangement with one of the crematoriums in town, and we had them set up the bodies, which are old cadavers from our anatomy lab. We had them cremate the bodies such that they would look like real bodies coming out of a house fire. The other one that we do is, uh, again, taking one of the cadavers that um, would have been used for the anatomy class, we kind of um, borrowed that and we put some evidence on it. It has some uh, bruises, it has some lacerations, it has some other wounds and whatnot. And so basically we have the students do the beginning portion of an autopsy on a real human body. Perimeter Road Sound Recordings is a on-campus student staff record label here at Parkland College. Um, the ultimate goal um, and, and really the, the primary idea was give students an opportunity to get some music business experience outside of what they might get in their coursework. Here at Perimeter Road, I'm not just the lead engineer or just, uh, you know, the events planner. You know, I also work with social media, I work with design, I work with the business management aspect of it, so I get a little taste of everything. This first semester was all about getting all of the sessions in, getting all the, the, the recordings done, and working on mixing those songs into something that is professional quality. My philosophy with the program is that I prepare students one of two ways, either to get a job or to transfer to a big four-year school. We are all about custom fabrication. That's what we do. We engineer and we build new things for every single show. And so that directly ties in with manufacturing. So a lot of our core classes in our entertainment technology program are actually taught over in our engineering science wing. So a lot of the skills that you actually put into theater are universal for other jobs out in the marketplace. I think the most exciting thing about our program is the fact that we are newer, we're growing, uh, we're fully supported, we have excellent technology that you would find in most four-year large schools. We're very fortunate that we have that here in a two-year institution. We really set our students up to know exactly what to expect going forward. And we prep our students to be employable and marketable in this workplace. 